Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Glitter Lung Lessons. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cute little birdhouse using some very basic shapes. This is an awesome lesson that is super appropriate for grades kindergarten through second, although any age is welcome to do this lesson. For today, you're going to need your pencil, your eraser, your paper, and then your markers. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make my horizon line towards the very bottom of my paper. So that way I can separate my sky from the ground. And I'm actually gonna turn the paper on its side. And very lightly sketch out this line here. It's okay if it's not super perfect or straight. You can always go back in and even it out. Then I'm going to make the stand that our little birdhouse is going to sit on. And I'm gonna do that by making a rectangle that is really long and skinny. If you want to use a ruler to help you with this part or any straight edge you have available, you can do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the side of my markers here. All right, and then I've made that little rectangle here. Now I'm gonna make another thin rectangle going across this way. I like to turn my paper to do this. You don't have to if you don't want to though. I'll make two lines going down here. And then I'll take my eraser and I'll erase the extra lines that I don't need. And there we have the little stand for our birdhouse. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make the roof of the birdhouse here. And I'm gonna make a triangle or a V shape Going this way and this way. And I'm going to turn that line into a full shape here. And then I'm going to make two lines that come straight down and touch the stand here. Now I'm gonna make a little circle. So that way our birds have a door to their birdhouse. And there we go. Now I can add some color or I can add some designs or patterns to my birdhouse and I can decorate it any way I want to. I'm also going to take my black Sharpie or you can take a black marker and I'm going to trace my pencil lines with that and I'm going to speed up the camera to do that part. Okay, we've got our birdhouse outlined, and then I went ahead, instead of doing a straight line, I did little spiky lines going across for my grass. The last thing we have to do is color this in with our markers, so let's add some color. for my background just to give it a little bit more variety in colors and textures. You could add some flowers to your grass, you could add even a little bird sitting there if you want to. It is up to you on how much detail you want to put into this. So if you finished and you're proud of your work and you want to show it off, feel free to take a picture and email it to me at glitterlunglessons at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay creative! <laughs>